thank God for cabs. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. I I know what it's like. I'm just going to your night chopping a little uh, corn sage at home here. I'm up. Green chop and corn side of the cows, you know. I'd like to, uh, oh, I'd like to have this tested once to see what they're running at the moisture. I think we're getting really close, at least on this field. And got some uh, other corn I'm going to buy out of the field. I think that's going to be really close too. So after uh, this first part of the week, it's just going to be just crap. Uh, talking a low on Wednesday night of 36 degrees. I'm really hoping it doesn't get down that cold because then you're in there have that in your low lying areas. <coughs> You're gonna have patchy frost, and that uh, Sargam Sedan is in a low-lying area, it's right next to a, a riverbed. So if that freezes, I lose that crop. So and if it freezes up here, which I don't think it will, but oh yes, I know you're mad at me. And that Fourth of July corn will be junk. Well, uh, hopefully here. You guys, uh, little video of that. That's actually really, really turned out really nice. So, it's tossed a little. Is that making a comp? No, so. I know. They'll probably be on this video. So. But, uh, yeah. Just gonna make something here for you guys here and, uh, show you what's going on. I've chopped. In my fourth load off this field here, and this is the one right across from the house. So. You can see the cobs are all starting to turn, and there's no more milk in the kernels, so that's good. That means it's getting ready, so it'd be nice to get some corn in the silo and get some fermenting and. Cows milk so much better on fermented silage than they do fresh green chop. Hopefully we get some, uh, get a lot farther than we did last fall. That's, that's what I'm really hoping. That's why I'm trying to buy some more feed out of the field. And that's why I was down in front, or down by, uh, where's it down there? <laughs> down by uh, Lake City down there, chopping that corn. One bag is only mine, and the other one is another gentleman's. Just trying to find every which way I can to find more feed. So you gotta do what you gotta do. That feed wasn't uh, isn't gonna be the greatest because it's it was a little too dry. But feeds feed. I'm not complaining. So uh, won't get the best milk production out of that corn silage down there, but maybe I can feed a little bit more to the young stock. Gotta deal with it that way. Some down corn in here you've seen there. It's eh, not the best to pick up, but if you go a certain way, it's you'll get most of it, so. Say, it's hard to video and chop at the same time when you're supposed to be using two hands, so. Okay, any, any of you guys want to try it, come on over. I'll, I'll let you I'll let you try it. See how easy it is. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I figured I'd show you a little bit of this here and ram along here long enough, and uh, uh, let me show you what the 8640 did to me yesterday. Just broke down. So, I get that fixed. 
it's Labor Day weekend, so I can't get parts so well, they have parts on hand, which I highly don't. Tuesday, it'd be Wednesday, probably, if I had to order it. And we get that going again, so I can haul my nerve with the tank again, so. So yeah, well, I'll show you what's happened there, and what's going on there, and if I bring you guys back here in uh, a little bit. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm loading, ladling shit out of the pit and then dumping it in the nurse spreader with a link belt. Some guys, I mean, you guys might not have ever seen that. It's a 3400 LCS 3400C link belt, Series 2. And uh, there's a few videos of that, my older videos. So, I mean, you guys go and check that out. What? Figured I'd show you what happened to the 86 here. This is the one that uh, Casey bought at an auction down in Mazeppa. <coughs> I was messing around with the uh, manure pump. The manure is starting to get too thick. This happened yesterday. And you, some of you were saying, what's that? And some of you know what that is. <coughs> and some of you are saying, what's that? And some of you are saying, well, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. This is your linkage, or I don't even want to call it. Anyways, it's threaded into here. It's a bolt with a nylon bushing, and there's another one right here. It'll focus. And it snap that one off. I'll see if I can get it up in there for you. And I pushed the wrong button. Anyways, see that shaft there. There's not that much of a shaft, but right on the middle part of the screen there. That's what drives. That's your hydrostatic oil pump. So what happened is it sheared that bolt off. She was uh, not running true, and she snapped that little drive shaft off that goes and drives your pump. So. <coughs> And this might just order all new because that's messed up too. It's just as a piece of aluminum. It just clamps. There's a little bushing that sits on here. And it clamps it from here to here. And then when it comes off your shaft, from here to here. And that dang thing there is broke clean off. That's gonna be fun trying to get that out of there. Got a few ideas what I'm gonna do, but yeah. I was messing around with the manure pump and tractor, and I uh, had this idling over here waiting to get loaded up. And I got out of the tractor, and I heard something rattling really loud and hitting the fan. And I come out, and this is what I found. So yeah, oh, that's that. No matter what color it is, it all breaks down. So. Hopefully here, a couple days and get parts. So I'm gonna get back at home and earn. We got rain coming for three days, so I'm trying to try and make a little room in the in the old manure pit, and that way it ain't gonna run over and cause a bigger mess than I already have. So, all right, I'll bring you guys back into something else. Well, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Running activator is a two handed job, but some of you guys uh, give you a view of how I do this. Try my best. Just uh, take a little scoop.
So, all right. Hope that kind of turned out good enough, and uh, you guys get a view of that. Not too bad today. All right. Well, give you a quick view of how fast I can unload a uh, 875 uh, John Deere manure spreader. It's got liquid manure in it. It's kind of fuzzy through that, but if you count the seconds, how long it takes to empty that, it's not very long. <laughs> but she'll be plenty fertile in this area tomorrow or next year. So empty. There we go. Less than a minute. All right, next one. Okay, guys, so how are you now? I had the, uh, I didn't uh, video any of it, but uh, the axle bearings are now on the TMR inside one here. So I went to town today, tore it apart, took races out, whatever's <coughs> left bearings, seals, ordered that. So, that'll be in here tomorrow. So, as of the night and tomorrow morning, we have a three wheel TMR. So, that's the way that goes. Uh, I got the parts ordered for the 8640. They should be here tomorrow, too. So, I'll have uh, wheel bearings to fix. And uh, I don't know if I'll get at that A6 tomorrow. See once. And I uh, got a phone call. The guy I bailed straw for, he wants me to be able to, uh, bailed straw for, he wants me to uh, chop corn salad for him on Thursday. So. Yeah, so I gotta do a little, I gotta get the chopper, I gotta, still gotta clean the radiator out. And I like to change oil on him, he's due for no change. Get that done. Everything greased again on there. And it's greased with a hand grease gun, there ain't very much. Just a couple of U joints, shavs. And get that ready to go. I'm gonna run down. It's uh, the uh, 8th of September. I'm gonna show you guys that corn. So, so we'll bring you guys back here in a little bit. All right. So this is the stuff here. Where it's wet. This will never get very big. We'll get over here where it's uh, a little better. And I'm, uh, I know you few guys commented in my one video where I had star damaged corn, and this is the cornfield here where stuff is basically laying flat. And uh, uh, I'm really amazed how good it st stood back up. So, yeah. Give me a little bit. see now you can kind of see a little bit it's got a, just a little that one you can see a little better it's gonna bend to it but that making a cob you can see so all I need is another oh if I could get a month good weather and uh, it'll be probably the best field I've got. <laughs> so, looks good. And there's going to be some decent sized cobs on there. Neighbors target practicing. We'll be shooting this way. Yeah! We're going to show you guys that. Two months and four days out of a fucking bag, and look what you got for corn. Some of you guys said it wouldn't be uh, two feet tall by September, so. Could be a few of you guys wrong. 
maybe crazy, but I know you can grow corn on this farm if you just get the right weather. But yeah, it's kind of patchy all over all, all the way through this lower spot here. It's up and down. Some spots is really nice and and uh, yeah, maybe I'll try. I'll stand on the pickup once if we can get a better view of the whole field. Well, you can probably get a better view of it at home, but you guys get the idea. It turned out pretty good. So, two month update. You see it too here. You guys remember in my first, my first planet, how much taller, you know, that corn was. Basically, pretty much even. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get down for slip fall. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, get these waterways trimmed here pretty pretty quick too. Second crop off the waterways would be some third crop off the ditches. So make some pretty decent hay. Oh yeah. Knee high. Be a nice crop of grass there. So, all right, guys. No, I'm a little slow on my videos lately, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Thanks.